Yo, what's up, Sir. guys? Welcome back to another episode. We back. We, we back. Let's get it. Dude, well, uh, well, it's your boy, Rigel. It's your boy, Marius Royce. And our topic today is about fashion. Mm -hmm. Just before we, we started filming. Yeah, filming. yeah, literally, just before we started filming, we're just, debating what, yeah. what is the next word for drip and style. style. Yeah, you, so you got style, you yeah. got drip. Yeah, there's another word, bro. I don't know what it is. Because yeah, like when you when you head. think of like that, I'm like the first fucking one that comes to my mind is swag. <laughs> but I'm saying like swag that is, is like, true. In, the, in, the, in the in the drip in the, the drip, drip universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, what yeah, separates yeah. drip and and? Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Man, he's got back from a trip. Oh, that's <laughs> true. That's yeah, true. he's got back from a trip. We yeah. back. We've been just, out of commission for like three weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's still putting out episodes. Still yep. putting That's crazy. Yeah, Marius. Yeah, yeah, man, I just came back from LA. Mm -hmm. Dope ass trip. Uh, went down to visit my girlfriend. Haven't seen each other in a year and seven months. That's a long time. A year and seven months long distance, bro. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a good trip. What do you guys do down there? I know y'all went to Disneyland, Disney, bro. Birthday. You see the drip? You see the drip? See, it's a drip. That's it. <laughs> it's a drip, right drip there, bro. Right there. That's not style, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it was your birthday recently. It was my yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my birthday out there. It was the first time I've been outside uh -huh. uh, the country by myself. Mm. Oh, yeah, true. Um, you always yeah, I always with travel with my friends. friends or like friends? for something, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like family or whatever. But yeah, it's the first time outside the country by myself. Spent my birthday by myself. Yep. Like, yeah, we, 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 we would come people. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it was a dope trip. Went to Disneyland, saw you Star Wars. You see the new Avengers shit? No, that's in uh, California Adventures. What? I thought Wait, you guys didn't do park hopper. No, we didn't do park hopper. So just for just so you guys yeah. know, like yeah. when you guys go to uh, Disneyland, you gotta make sure you reserve. You gotta download the Disney app. Reserve yeah. everything like. The day before or the morning of like rides really? yeah rides and, and what? Like restaurants oh, you, you got like time slots for everything yeah so, so like the whole covid thing right? yeah so like there's this bar in the star wars land it's called like the like og's og's cantina yeah 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 and like it's a dope ass spot but like we was having trouble getting in because we didn't have a reservation shoot so like we got lucky we got in anyways but we had to stand up and i was so uncomfortable really but like yeah, just so you know, like you gotta reserve everything, even the rides. Like we didn't, I didn't get to go on the other big ride that yeah. Star Wars line had, yeah, because of the reservation thing. But the thing is, like, like it's a give and take, right? You you don't need to wait. Right? <clears throat> yeah. You like you gotta oh, yeah. be, you gotta be there at a specified time, right? So you can do it. Well, no, honest, no, there still is a line. Oh. But but the thing is, you have you you just show them like, yo, I have a reservation for this. Mm -hmm. So then they'll let you in the line. They don't let you in the line if you don't have a reservation. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But still, there is a there still is kind of a time, but you as still long as you're there because you have a reservation. Yeah, there still is a okay. little bit of line, but it goes, you know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much my what about me. Um, watched. Uh, I finally watched Shang Chi. Gee, the best movie. The first time. Yeah, first time watching it. It's a dope-ass movie. I was gonna watch that shit twice. I'm, I'm saying it's gas. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hot take, maybe. Black yeah. Panther's still better. I'm saying Black Panther's still better. I feel like Black Panther mm. moved a little <clears throat> a little too fast, you know? Through the movie. For you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we, cause like, Black Panther was in a couple of the other movies before. Like, yeah. made little cameos and like, uh, was it Winter Soldier? Mm -hmm. Made a cameo and then um, Civil War. Civil, Civil War, War made yeah. a cameo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then Shang Chi had to start from the bottom up, right? And I feel like the way that they told the story in, in that time span, it mm -hmm. went really well. True, you know. True. Yeah. And like, dude, the fucking fight scenes in Shang Chi. Fight scenes are crazy. Oh yeah. my bro. Yeah, they were probably my favorite things. They're crazy. I think, bro. I think especially the, the thing, bus scene. Oh, the bus scene was crazy. The bus scene yeah. was nasty. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Aquafina. I think just the thing that I liked about. Black Panther more than uh, Shang Chi was like, uh, the culture really? aspect of it. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, Black Panther really showcased, um, you know, the whole culture side, like, you know, where mm -hmm. everything comes from, like, you know, different tribes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, they all got their own thing going, mm -hmm. and like, it was super unique. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. right? So it was like interesting to see. I see, okay. You know what I mean? But like, I feel like with Shang-Chi, it was less of that and more on the action. Action or, part, yeah. yeah like, they did, okay, they did do some aspects. You kind of you, you kind of yeah, see yeah. it, like you see the like the dragons and like you the know, mom side, the, the, the yeah, dresses, yeah, dresses, <clears> yeah, like, the dresses uh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it was less mm -hmm. than I, I expected or wanted to see. see. Okay. You know what I mean? You were looking for more representation. I was looking for more, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you, it was it was still dope though. The like, thing I love about uh, the why why Shang Chi's uh, fight fight scenes look so yeah. crazy was because um, what was the style of fighting they did in there? It's um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The, it's like a martial art. What? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a martial art. Yeah, there's a like Shaolin like. like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't, don't want to put my yeah, foot in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know what it is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But like, um, I have it on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, they had um, like a really old um, fight, like a fight director mm -hmm. that worked with uh, Jackie Chan back in the day. Wow. Like, like he, it's like an OG. Like he has the Chan, like Bruce Lee. Oh, Bruce Lee. Yeah, Bruce yeah. Lee, Bruce Lee. He has like, like he's like a like a master, master. Yeah. Like he's wow. he's old too, and he yeah. shows like all proper techniques yeah. and everything. So That's if crazy. you watch it, it looks so fucking yeah. like majestic, bro. Yeah, I think the dude. Let's see. What's it called? There's this guy on TikTok, mm. and it's this old uh, old dude. Is it like dad or something? Okay. And he makes these TikToks. He's just like. <laughs> Yo, I know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His student actually is the choreographer for uh, Shang-Chi. Wow. And he, oh, yeah, he made he a video about up, it. Yeah, he yeah. ended up um, passing away. That's why they said that at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. in loving memory of yeah, yeah, yeah. this guy. That's wow. who that is, his choreographer for the wow. movie. Yeah. yeah I think if I... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I would that's, 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 that's sick. That's what I heard. It was dope. It was dope. Yeah. Chang Chi, probably one of my favorites. <clears throat> Ever since uh, Black Widow, the fight scenes in Marvel have been absolutely insane. They definitely yeah. stepped it up in that yeah. aspect. And honestly, I'm glad that uh, Disney is doing more Dude, yeah. representation of the. We're getting a lot more representation. Eternals coming out next week. Yeah. yeah. Next week, I think. Yeah. yeah. Excited. And and all the main characters like. What makes me happy about Eternals is the whole main cast is like someone from a different Yeah, background. they're all different different ethnicities. Yeah. Apparently, but apparently Eternals is the worst rated oh, next, worst rated, yeah. next to the Rotten Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. 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 On next Tomatoes. to uh, Thor really? Dark World. Dark World. That yeah. I can't. Thor Dark World is shit. Thor 2. The Thor yeah. 2. Thor 2 is shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna cap. Thor 2 is dog. I just like it. The song with the, the girl getting the ether and stuff. Yeah, right? I think that's when the mom dies. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, dog, yeah. it's dog, yeah. it's dog, right? Yeah. But apparently Eternals is like right next to it, bro. I think it's like- Is it already like, out? It's like 41%. Yeah, pre-screening or pre -screening whatever. Or something like that. 41% on Rotten Tomatoes yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, apparently, yeah, uh, yeah, they just built it up, they hyped it up. They, I guess it didn't meet the expectations, but you know, we'll, get, we'll have to see for ourselves. Yeah. Do you think maybe because it took so long, they hyped <clears> it up so early? Nah, it's not even that. I, I mean, maybe so maybe bad. it's literally the storyline. Cause like, yeah, you, when you introduce out of nowhere, bro. Yeah, when you introduce a new like hero or something to the Marvel like uh, cinematic scene, yeah. Yeah. And, like not that's not originating from the comic or like from, originating from the comic books and yeah. introducing it to the cinematic scene. It's either gonna be like a hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Cause like I remember, um, like like I remember watching like maybe like Hulk. Like, I read comics, like, on Hulk and stuff. Yeah. And then when that shit came out, I wasn't, like... Like, even after Marvel, Marvel was kind of, like... Even, yeah, I don't, even, like, have to... It, it, it's just weird that, that they added in such a big thing so late. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, okay, like, Eternals are supposed to be here for, like, thousands of years before... Yeah, but where was it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it's, like, when you add them in, it's, like, what? Like, where were they the whole time? Like, what yeah. the... And you know what I mean? You have to find where the timeline is again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marvel always ends up doing it. <clears throat> I mean, we'll yeah, see when it comes out. It is. Yeah, yeah. Marvel is doing big things. I know um, DC and Justice League. They're Yo, they're coming, coming out, bro. Come up, bro. They're coming so out. I saw they're Black coming. Adam's trailer, and that looks pretty sick. Bro, just that Justice League? Justice League? Justice League fucking, um, what's it, the director's cut? Yeah, Snyder's cut, bro. Yeah. I don't know if you guys seen it. That shit is gas. Yeah. That they show the the blood and stuff. Suicide Squad two. Suicide, Suicide Squad two. Crazy movie. See clap that, it up one time. Clap I, it up one time. I can't clap it. Clap I haven't seen it. I love that movie, bro. I, I, I love that movie. <laughs> The movie's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. John Cena. I gotta watch that. All of a sudden, John Cena the movie star, bro. All of a sudden. 
He like The Rock 2.0. He's also in uh, Fast 9. Yeah, bro. He's killing it. He's in all this shit, bro. Man. And now he's got a solo movie. For what? He's got a solo movie for him. For that, for his for that guy, the Insurgent. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. really? Yeah. Solo movie for him, bro. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's that's so he's, he's, way he's, up. Yeah, he's killing it, bro. Dang, yeah, true. man. He's not doing The Rock Dance in the Yeah. Shoot, man. But going back to drip and style. Drip and style, bro. Drip? What's the third word? Drip and style. I'm going to say swag, you, guys, you guys might have to like look that one up for us yeah. or like comment down below what you guys think the, the other words are. I don't know. There's It's just missing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying like drip, style. Like, There's another word that there, you know, it doesn't, right. it's not. It doesn't yeah. fit in there. If you were to make a word to make it fit, <clears throat> what word would it be? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. There's a yeah. word already, you know? Yeah, there's a word already. Fair enough. But so what's the difference between drip and style, though? Because, <clears throat> case, peep this, bro. I think about this. Like, I'm, I'm like, decently, like, into fashion. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I know how to dress myself, you know? Mm -hmm. I ain't dressed like shit. Person, I think. You think I dress like shit? Like you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like everybody got their everybody own taste. Everyone got their own, like, yeah. right? like, got their own yeah. fucking taste, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like drip drip is like maybe is like a like a one like a one item that's like crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Out of the fit, like Mary's point out the deodorant. Right? Yeah, one it's item drippy. though is drippy. You know, I look at your hat, like dude, the spot is on your hat, drippy as fuck. Yeah. Like I, I don't I don't like yo you whole your whole fit drippy bro. Like I'm thinking like oh like you should drippy like shit. Yeah, like, I feel like yeah, there, you can you can have like one item that makes your outfit drippy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But then at the same time your outfit can be drippy. Like your mm -hmm. whole outfit can be drippy. Drippy that much. But I only use drippy like <clears throat> like oh your hat's safe, bro. That's yeah. Drip. Yeah. 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 But like but if you style like you style like, Yeah, you know, like the whole fit crazy. Yeah. Whole fit crazy. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who do you guys have, like, like, inspirations for, like, fashion? Honestly, not too many, bro. Like, I feel like I got, I'm, like, going through my own shit. But honestly, um, when I look back at it, I'm thinking, like, like, old 90s hip-hop artists. Like, sick. those are my, mm -hmm. like, that's sick. I really look up to, like, you know, Biggie, see that. Yeah, I can Biggie see that. Nas, like, yeah, I can see you that. know, those dudes was just, they had the baggy outfits. Yeah. You know? They was wearing like Biggie was wearing Coogee. Yeah. You know, you know, actually, um, people always think that Biggie made Coogee. Mm. Uh, yeah. But he didn't. Yeah. yeah. He just put it on so heavy that like people was like, Yo. Like LL Cool J and Kango. Yeah, straight up. Like he wasn't, you know. So you into like the vintage drip? I'm into the, the like vintage. Sean John. John. Yeah, 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 like I got this jacket right here. <laughs> Sean John. Yeah. yeah. You might see me wearing it if you see me. With that, the Hello Boys with like the Fubu. Yeah, I even yeah, got a Fubu like denim jacket. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so. Yeah, I like that. I like the whole like um, cause like I'm <clears throat> short, right? And when you make it a fit, bro, like you gotta pay attention to your like your proportions, right? Yeah, I'm just. I always, just, I'm just I always say like your body's like a, like picture your body like as a as hundred percent, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta split it up somewhere like 60 40. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, especially because I'm a short guy. Yeah, make so you like, look taller. Make you look taller. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I wear like high waisted pants mm -hmm. to make my legs look longer, mm -hmm. you know? That's why I wear crop shirts because yeah. it makes my torso shorter, my legs longer. Yeah, 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 taller. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. right, you catfishing. Yeah, yeah. same. I'm on five, five. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, you be seeing these pictures. Y'all been running. I'm five. I'm five. I'm five. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I like I like to look to like um, homies like fucking like ASAP Rocky like the way he, he uh, yeah ASAP Rocky you know, crazy ass drip anyone that's like from like a like European like they, yeah. their drips crazy like the way they fit yeah um, like crop, like, yeah crop, crop, style, crop yeah, sock yeah. and like that like the this is guy on Instagram I follow is Uniform by Daryl. Oh, he's this, crazy. This guy, I guess, drippy. I know, this guy, this no, guy, this his, guy his style is crazy, crazy, bro. I've been looking at his yeah. shit lately. He's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, this guy from New York, his name is Marcus Malone. Oh, no, also no. crazy. He's the owner of Minted, Minted New York. Like the oh, video wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that shit's crazy too. Yeah, like, the the way can make a trip out there, like to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100 like, percent, bro. Like, like, we do an episode. Yeah, the inspiration is just crazy out there. The influence, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's I'm more inspired by like the 60s, 70s, like collegiate, uh, collegiate vibes where like uh, the old big patches, like the heavy knits, especially okay. for like fall, winter, and um, 
and then going into the summertime, I think Royce and I similar. Like it's just uniforms by Daryl is like he puts his stuff to you. Like he makes nah, it. His fits are crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. and crazy. then there's another guy. I think his name is uh, Jordan O'Brien, and um, oh, yeah. he he does a similar vibe too. And like his stuff is always put together. Like he blends like what's supposed to be formal and makes it like. Casual. Yeah, bro. That that street so, formal mix, yeah, bro. Like that. with the trouser and the sneaker, or oh, like yeah, yeah, me, yeah messing up with the with the trouser with a nice pointed boot, and yeah. then you have like a graphic tee or some shit. Like it's the it's the mix between like different different yeah. cultures and it's the collab. It's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes it look nice. It's like yeah, you casual. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you got some nice ass shoes on. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. You got you can go to the thrift store, grab like a five dollar tee. And make it like a crazy ass. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, like, yo, okay, peep this. I hate, I hated thrifting though. Mm. Yeah, I hate like I I hated thrifting. Mm. I remember that. Like I hated that shit. Like I was like, oh, I don't want to buy no second second hand stuff. Like, yeah, because personally, I'm just like, oh, I don't, don't want to wear that stuff. Yeah, but then people be finding these crazy ass gems. I'm like, damn, let me go look. I, I go look nothing. I'm like fuck this shit. I ain't thrifting again. <laughs> Cause it's hard. It's yeah, time. Always out there be like grinding, thrifting, bro. Like bro. they grind that shit. They wake up early they wake in the morning. Up early and morning. And they, they, they know yep. when. They to know when the it truck drops. when the Bobby truck Village. comes through and they drop that what else? shit. What uh, else? Shout to out. Shout out. What's the what's the what's the store? Archive. Archive, bro. Shout out archive. Yeah, shout out archive. Shout out archive. Most of our drip is from here. Yeah, Loki. I'm gonna have you on soon. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, I can't. he's like, uh, shut, dude. <clears throat> this uh, mall in um in Vancouver is called Stocks, right? Mm. Crazy ass vintage store. Stocks. Cra- yeah, crazy. Ass. It's like in the mall. Like you never see like a vintage yeah. shop in the mall. Where's right? that? At? It's like somewhere in Van. Like my my homie Jordy put me on. Oh yeah. But that shit is crazy. Like they have like vintage ass like Levi denim. That's where I got my denim from. That's sick. Like the like the whole like eighties seventies fit of pants. Mm. Like it's just like way different from now bro like skinny jeans bro if you still rocking skinny jeans with like air forces mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> we're not doing that no more <laughs> you know what i'm it's saying like, it's like the sag pants like, you know what i'm saying know. like <laughs> the skinny no jean era bro that shit's the, gone. the the rip the rip denim uh, yeah, homies can rock it bro well, so, yeah, some, people, some people can rock it if you got the right proportions though yeah man. but you if you fashionable if, it, like I, like back in the day, like I was I was a big boy. Yeah. I wanted to wear skinny jeans. I wore skinny jeans. Bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, too, yeah. my too. crotch, the crotch of my skinny jeans, blew out more times than I can count to ten. <laughs> I just make it though. Like, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I admit. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, 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 you know what I did after, right? Yeah. yeah. I bought more. Yeah. Because right? yeah, it was in. Yeah. And I was wearing them skinny jeans, and it'd be tight, bro. Like I'm yeah. telling you, you see, you see my shit. Like you would see my shit on, like you know. Yeah. My shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna open my drink up, bro. What you oh, yeah. Why are you guys not drinking? Well, I'm drinking. But my bad. We, as you can see, we don't have a collective one drink. Yeah. We forgot to pick some up. We forgot to pick some up, but, but we these have are some past drinks that we put on. I mean, like this, this one. one you guys know. Staple, man. Yeah, you guys know what I'm We're just, uh, we're just enjoy- enjoying them. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. let me open mine. Daddy. Mmm. Take your sip ready. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Bro. Cheers. Cheers to you at home. Yeah, but like some some fashion trends, bro. They be hella questionable sometimes. Yeah, bro. No. Like the one, like the things that I would partake in, like it's not it. Yeah. It's not it, bro. No. Can I, you remember any? Like no, any fashion trends? Or any fashion oh trends gosh, that are shite? Man. Wow. I was thinking like. I was just like sagging pants, like nice. how crazy it was that dudes are sagging pants and are still sagging pants with a belt on. That's all, yo, you are that ridiculous. That frustrates me, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, they, you, they, you know why they put the belt on? So they say, fall, bro. That's they, crazy. It's the, they put the belt on to save their pants so it doesn't fall. And like they be getting like the Louis V. Yeah, the Gucci. Yeah, the Gucci. You know why they say it? No, they say it so they can show. They can show, see the it. show the LV. Because then you already know they're not they're not tucking in their shirt. Yeah, you know damn well. Know. You know damn well, bro. Oh. You remember the 
Oh, you remember God, when you went to the movie theaters, bro? You watch a movie with yeah. 3D glasses, bro? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I know what you're you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're 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 and you pop, pop up, you pop the shit the out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, shout out to the homie fucking Russell, bro. Deep Pride. Deep Pride. Deep Pride. Deep Pride. Deep Pride. Yeah, that, I swear it. I see. Yeah, yeah. Deep Pride. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah. The brothers. That, that shit, like, popped off. Yeah, popped off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, bro. They wrapped the, ta- the tape around that. Everybody was rocking the, the nerd costume yeah. for Hodge come Halloween. 100%, you know what I mean? bro. Gosh, yeah. I definitely did that. You know, choice. that was a vibe back then. Like, Goodwood. Goodwood. They, was I good had, wood. Those, I had, they had the denim jacket with the, the leather sleeves. Had the, the denim full jacket, leather sleeves. I mean, Denim jacket vest, bro. Yeah. yeah. Denim jacket vest, bro. I used to rock the uh, Crooks and Castles varsity. Oh, Crooks and Castles. And then that I had, huge. I remember one year I wore two hats, one on my head and then one on the belt loop. Dead. That's the real shit. That's the real shit. Dude, bro. Tumblr, Tumblr back in the day hella influenced people back in the day on how yeah. they dress, you know? Real, That's real. True. Tumblr was a, yeah, and you know, you know the biggest and the biggest supplier for all that, the clothing was? Mm. Paul's Boutique. If you know, you know. Oh my god. If you know, if you know. Paul's Boutique. Paul's Boutique. 13 or 30. Yeah. If you know, if you know where Envy Nails is in Gilbert Mall, bro. <laughs> that used to be Paul's Boutique. That used to be Paul's Boutique. Boutique. And that was like the source. Like, yeah, everybody source. was hopping through there. Like, yo, let me cop a G Shock real quick. Bro, I got I all the selections, bro. I had that Hundreds, shit bro. I couldn't Please, afford, bro. bro. I remember, okay. I, I couldn't afford a G Shock, so my homie, uh, Kenneth uh, DePat, mm. one of my close friends since uh, elementary, he was, he lent me his G Shock, wore that bit every day. Dude, me too. And I had then the I brought, and then I had the fucking black with a red one, bro. Yeah. yeah. I had the white one with the indigo, but oh my god, that's hard. Right. When you press it, it goes indigo and like screen. You know what? That shit got so dirty, bro. It's like oh <laughs> it was then, white too, you know. Oh my god! And then yeah, he would there. I was remember wearing it. And then I'd be like, oh, hopefully, like, he forgets. So I can keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yo, can you get my watch back? I'm like, damn. Yeah. Now I don't have no G Shock, yeah, bro. I can't wear it. Bro, anymore. like, back in the day, Tumblr was the Instagram for fits clothes, bro. Yes. 100%. 100%. Like, that's where I started. Like, I've always been into Jordans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, when I saw the Jordans on, like, Tumblr, I'm like, damn, I want this shit more. But it only true. be, like, the, the breads, the Chicago, yeah. Yeah. the Royals. The yeah. Toro 4s, bro. Yeah. The, yeah. Cements. The cement, cements, yeah, bro. Yeah. The black cement 3s, yeah, bro. Yeah. The white, white cement 3s. Yeah. Yeah. The Concords, bro. Like, all those classic shoes that, like, got, like, real hype. You know what I mean? They yeah. got the most hype. You know what I mean? Like, I people know. just started forgetting about all yeah. that. The rest of the shoes. I feel that. Sorry. I think, to be honest, for me, when with Tumblr, that's when I really started caring about how I looked. Because okay. I would see, like, fit pics with their significant other and they yeah. get tripped out yeah and i'd be like dang i gotta dress like that so hopefully i can attract a girl like that because at the time that's oh what yeah, I was yeah, looking yeah, for. yeah bro and i was like dang like girls like this real real, real girls real, would be real. reposting it I'm real, like, oh, real, shoot. Real. like dang this is how you get girls so i got i gotta dress like that so that i can yeah. get more girls no, what same, on the other side, same on the other side, it was yeah. like the girls was like dressing a certain way, so doing their hair a certain way. With the bang, bang, bro! The side, the side, the side oh, curves, bang, yeah, we got, bro! We, we, got lot, we got a lot of friends that was like Tumblr famous, you know? Like yeah, everybody's out really here. True. I tried to be, I was too ugly, but <laughs> I was too young. <laughs> I no, tried so hard, bro. Yeah, you had to have like a clean ass Tumblr page. Yeah. With the with your favorite, um, what's it called? Your favorite artist song. Playing right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, soon yeah. as you log in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I feel that though. I remember on Tumblr, I used to, I used to post my fit like five times in a row to really? get to get like a like a repost or like a, you know, so, so they get a like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tried that nothing. <laughs> hey, I respect the guys. You shooting the shot, bro. Yeah, saying. bro. I tried the shot. I tried, bro. That's fire. Yeah. When did you guys start caring about how you guys look? Mm. Honestly, not until like after, way after high school. Really? Yeah, bro. Like, uh, honestly, okay. Um, how I I would say that I was like pretty well dressed for my age. I mean, like I had young parents, so like they would dress me up real nice. Yeah. You know, we go in the summer before school, H and M. You know what I mean? You get the V neck. (laughs) You know, all the colors. You know what I mean? You know, uh, what's it called? Andrew Batterina. He had the he had the 
That's it. It wasn't even leather jacket. It was like a, it was kind of like a, a work jacket. Had a lot of pockets and like straps. Like cargo and jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. that. And then I remember I rocked that all the time. Had the, had the, what's it called? The high top Adidas. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, you know, I was dripping low key. You know, I was dripping low key. Never mind, I was Supras. Supras, bro. Oh, you know, they had the, when they had the Adidas with the wings oh, on them? Yeah. Jerry uh, Scott's. Uh, creative, creative Rex. Yeah. Those shits, bro. My goodness, bro. People was into that, bro. But then, like, I feel like, yeah, I was like, I honestly didn't give it too much attention in high school or elementary. It was just the way it was. Mm -hmm. And then, like, honestly, to, like, up until like like a year or two after high school, bro, mm -hmm. I was just like grade 11, 12, bro, I wear slides every day, Respect joggers it. every day, Respect sweater it. every day. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like yeah. I didn't give a fuck, you know what uh -huh. I mean? But like, yeah, I think I think it got to the point where it's like, you know, maybe I do gotta look nice sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I gotta yeah, have yeah, my yeah. own shit going for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. it was, it came a day, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this. It looks real nice. Yeah. I think I need to I'm do this. Oh, look what he's wearing. But for me, it was always I didn't want to um, stick to those trends. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to wear Thrasher like everybody was wearing Thrasher back in 2016. You know what I mean? I like, I, yeah, like, I didn't want to wear that. I used to like, speak words. I'm allowed. Okay, respect. I was. <laughs> I was not allowed. Yeah, but then that that's it for me, bro. That's I was, you know, bro, I was dressing up since the grade eight, bro. Yeah, like, right. in high school, that. bro. Right. Right. But that shit was ass still. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't give it no effort at that time. That's why I had no nobody could like say nothing because like, I was like, yeah, I'm not trying. I'm so like, what are you gonna say? Everyone talking mad shit about me because I was dressing up too much. <laughs> I respect it, bro. I respect it. I don't want to talk about shit, bro. I just try to be dripped out, bro. I remember I bought these, uh, if y'all skate fucking um, DVSN, I think it was DVSN, or uh, DVS, or some shit like that. I thought it was DC. No, 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 it's another, skate, it's another skate shoe, bro. And then um, this bitch had like cheetah print on the inside, like the inside mm. of the, like the, when I took out my foot. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. So I remember, I remember like, when you be changing for like uh for gym and shit, mm. I take off my shoe, right? Damn, y'all see y'all peep this shit. <laughs> Crazy. I got the yeah, I got the cheetah shit dude, inside. Like, uh, y'all look outside. It's, it's, all, it's only black and blue and white. We look yep. inside. Damn, it's fucking cheetah print. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, 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 I was yeah. always dressing up when I started like really paying attention, bro. Yeah. When um when Timothy Dalaghetto dropped Tim's Bakery, bro. Mm, that, shit, that. Mm, that, that shit. That shit. That shit got me so hooked up, like, like ghetto, bro. the Tim's yeah, Bakery, yeah, yeah. bro, on, like, like, I try to, I ask my parents every Christmas, bro, I'm like, can I just, like, fill up a cart at, like, Carmelo and, like, Did yeah, you yeah, yeah, Carmelo, bro, and just, and just, come on, that's, like, that's a little oh, long, yeah. it'd be, like, fucking, that's like, classic. 200, 300 yeah, bucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a lot back then, you know what I'm saying, just, yeah. just, for, just for clothes, yeah, and then yeah. I was, like, oh, I was trying to get all these snapbacks, trying to get all these, like, jackets, bro, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. and then when, uh, Tim, Tim started wearing these, uh, like, the tribal prints, <clears throat> Right? I bought hella. I bought yeah. hella. Yeah. Went up from where? I bought that shit from Ross when we went back Ross. to the States. Yo, he go across the border. Across the border, go to Ross. Man. Go to Ross, pick up. Ross I Marshalls. Actually, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You pick up all the shit that all the, oh, the Obey? Nah, yeah, nah. Obey. It's like, it's like NVIDIA. There's <laughs> <laughs> some, yeah. some, yeah. some, yeah. some yeah. like whack off shit, but it yeah. looked good, you know? That's fire, bro. I was feeling myself. And then, and then after high school, I started getting to like the, like, I gotta dress proper now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Off of that with the no more, shit. no more Roshis. No. <sighs> No more Janoskis. No more. No, 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 <laughs> no more of those. Janoskis if you skate, bro. Yeah, you don't know, skate, bro. No Come more Janoskis, bro. That's a skate yeah, shoe, bro. bro. That's true. Who still wear fine at trainers? Loki, they are, bro. So they still, still look wear like the Yanits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's still wearing those? Homie Mitch, I know. I, I still have my trainers. Sorry, you, Mitch. Uh, I don't. Have, I don't. I never had a pair of trainers, trainers bro. Oh man, the the shoe era, bro. Yeah, yeah the shoe There's era. been some whack ass shoes gone through that era, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, like, I started back in elementary actually because my group of friends back then, uh, we would be in uniform because I went to a private school, and um, the only way we could dress up was through our shoes. Mm -hmm. So every year, me and my homies would come in a new pair of all black J's mm -hmm. because um like the ones. 
No, just right. Jays in general. Mm. Oh, and like I would have to save up my Christmas money, my birthday money to go yeah. to Oregon mm-hmm. to the outlets yeah, and go to the Nike like, yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's where I would cash out all my shoes. But up, up, up top, whack, bottom, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I got new gym shoes. I got a new hyper. I still have them. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> From like, like 20, 2010, 2011. But anyway, yeah. so that's how I would um, dress up back then is through the uniform and then just have like the flies. Flies J and I think my first real pair were maybe uh, black metallic fives in, Classic, in grade bro. five and I was gifted that hey, for Christmas. Pair, bro. Five hey. on. Yeah, and um, I used that every day. Played ball on them outside yeah, in bro. in my uniform and in the uh, Jays and then that yeah I think um, and then in high school. James Tejado was the one who introduced me to snapbacks because he okay. had the hundreds back then. The hundreds then he yeah. showed me Paul's Boutique. Paul's Boutique. And I was like, 13 or 30, bro. 13 or 30. If you got the coin, you know. That's what I'm saying. If you had the coin, you know. And then I had a, uh, another homie, Eric Pizarro. That guy was oh, yeah. always yeah, That guy be. That Eric, guy was, was dressing Eric, every Eric day, was bro. Great. I know. Yeah. I think Eric does tune into these. Yeah. Eric, Eric was the only guy I knew in high school that would come to school in Chelsea. Yes. Yeah. yeah I remember that. Shit. He had his own shit going. Okay, so what happened was, I remember, him. so him and I were in yearbook class. And he was like, yo, I'm going to start pulling up in Chelsea boots. Yeah. I'm like, Chelsea boots? What is that? Show me a picture. In my mind, I'm like, what? what? Come on, we got all these shoes. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you, you have J, you have Nikes, why you have Chelsea boots? He's like, yeah. bro, just trust me. And then every day, man's dripped out in Chelsea boots, hair always fixed, like always yeah, dressed yeah, in the night. always flowing. Hair always flowing. And I'm like, dude, why you, why you always gotta dress like that? And he, yeah. one thing I always live by, I think, ever since he told me, he's like, that's commonly known now. It's like, if you dress good, feel good, then you do good. Yeah, for real. And I was like, damn. It's true. It's true. Key, that's, right. probably, that's probably why I didn't, too, didn't do too well. <laughs> <laughs> I just joking. Yeah, I was getting good grades, bro. I respect on, that. Bro. Yeah, he's always dripped. So, and he didn't really care about what other people think. I think even in like our graduation, my guy wore like an elongated blazer with skinny mm. jeans and Chelsea boots mm. and like a dress and Some, like, like yeah, like I was like yo, like that's, that's crazy. Dripped. That's dripped. And he didn't care. And I was like yo, I gotta like I gotta start thinking like that. And ever since mm. then, I was just like okay. Trying to figure my way, I went through all like a Tumblr boy phase, and then like Royce, like after high school, and me too. Like <clears throat> that's when I started like really trying to understand like certain things don't fit my body. Yeah, right. getting like, your own shit for yourself. Because what, what I hate was like, oh, you look like so and so. Yeah, I'm like, ah, I'm not so and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that shit, bro. Yeah, you want to look like you, you know? When right. someone you want other people, like, oh, you're dressing like Royce, or you're dressing yeah. like Mary. That lets you know that like. Or is when someone's like, oh, Royce has that, or Mary's wearing that. That lets you know, like, that you put someone on and that, yeah, like, yeah. you kind of started that vibe, you yeah, know? Yeah, and so yeah. going back to shoes, I remember I picked up, like, oh, there's so many wax shoes that I picked up. I remember picking up Supras because I couldn't Supras. afford the high ones. I couldn't afford the Supras. Oh, yeah. I had to go to, um, what's the, there's an old skate shop, but where the vapory was. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, Coast something. Coastal Riders. Mm-hmm. That's where I picked up the Supras. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah. Homies are sponsored by That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then I remember I tried to wear the Team Jordans because I couldn't wear like the actual OGs. Yeah, yeah. And then... Bro. Remember when Vans was, was a thing? Vans? Oh, they still are. They still are, bro. But yeah. when, they couldn't get, when they couldn't get him here, though. Okay. Yeah, they go to Tulalip yeah. to yeah, grab yeah. them. True, true. Yeah, and then every time I went to Seattle, I got to get, get a pair of bags. Yeah, get them in the mall. 100%. Yeah. That, that those were I think those are still I think in now yeah, but I think in terms here. of like the the whack shoes that I think kind of died were like the Osiris uh, all skate shoes you know I, I you know what I shoe I really hated that like everybody seemed to like was the Hirachis. See, I don't mess with Hirachis. I, had a pair. <clears throat> I, I didn't like those. Pair. Like I, I never like I, I had a triple black pair. I never had a pair of Roshis either. either. <laughs> In a size too big. Had I never had a pair of roaches. Really? I had a pair of roaches. Yeah. 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 There you go. Like I wasn't with the. I didn't yeah, yeah, I, didn't I couldn't afford roaches. Guess where I got mine from? Where? AliExpress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mom, tell the difference. Yeah. yeah. I asked my mom. Like mom, birthday present. It's only fifty bucks. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. That's what I'm saying. I remember. Oh my gosh. Me and Royce upstairs. 
Remember, he's like, yo, Roger, I got this new pair of shoes, bro. I'm like, yo, what'd you get? He's like, Oreo fragments. Oh, yeah. Sock right. darts. What does it look like? Sock Dude. darts. Sock hey, yo. Sock <laughs> darts. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when sock darts awesome. came out, bro, like, NMDs. That shit was, and, and NMDs. I think it was around that. No, no, no. I think sock darts was first, bro. Mm. Sock darts is the, the little bit, little bit with, the, with like, the strap, strap across the yeah, 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 top of your foot, right? <laughs> And I had the, I managed to get a pair of the fragment ones. Yeah. So, like, you know, the ones that did like fragment ones and, and shit like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, had, I had the fragment sock darts. Yeah. And I wrote that word to school, right? And then I was like, what are those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you don't know what these are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't know what yeah, these yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. You better know what these are. And yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what they are because they're expensive, you know? Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't do too well, huh? No, they didn't. It wasn't, they didn't, yeah, they didn't yeah, trend yeah. like all the other. Yeah. See, those are that, that shoe should have trended over the Roshi, but I think because the Roshi was so affordable, it was just like, you know. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So what do you guys, what makes <clears throat> style? Like, when in terms of, like, fashion and... Because we hear, like, trendy mm. or it's stylish. Mm. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think separates the two? I feel like, okay, when I think of, like, style... I was talking about earlier. Like I think of um, like three things. I think of like the way it fits on your body. Yeah. If your proportions are good. Yeah. And if your colors are good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I'm talking about proportions, I'm saying like like I'm fucking five foot five, right? Yeah. And I look at my body as like a hundred percent, right? So I'll have my pants usually go like sixty percent on my body. Mm-hmm. You know, make my legs look taller. You know, and yeah. then I have like a crop shirt. Yeah. To make my legs look even more longer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. look taller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Deceptive to that. That's what I'm saying, right? Hey. But when you when it, when you look at a fit that's like one like one to one, it doesn't flow right. Like you yeah, gotta yeah. let it flow. You gotta let the clothes flow. Especially like, if, if you know your your yeah. proportions are like you know equal. Yeah, and I'm also talking about proportions and like the way shit fits, right? Yeah, that's you true. can't be wearing a skinny ass pant. Yeah. I'm wearing a baggy ass t shirt. That's true. That's why Uniqlo is popping. Yeah, because Uniqlo got like good, some good yeah, fits. Yeah. fits. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like you, you looking like a toothpick with a napkin put over it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, that's true. Or you're or you're wearing like a too skinny shirt and then you wearing baggy yeah. ass pants. That's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but like at the same time, like if you rocking it, like yeah. that's the styling part. Like that's if true. you rock, yeah. if you rocking it, like like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. some people can do it. That. Yeah, some people can do it for yeah. sure. But I'm like, damn, all right. I fuck with it, yeah, you know. That's true. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't like look at someone's like style and be like, oh that shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, like oh that shit. Yeah. You know. Makes sense. And the only one I can say about if you sag in your skinny jeans with the red right <laughs> horses, that's bro. True. Um, <laughs> with the belt. With the belt. With the belt. Uh, then belt. you're shit. You're style <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop it, please. You know what I'm saying? But like, if, if you if you're able to rock your own shit like uh-huh. comfortably and confidently, yeah. then I'm like, alright, you I was gonna say dope. confidence. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So like, so like when when Kanye had the. Pop the collar, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's he, is he styling or is he dripping? I think he's, he's styling, though. He's styling, bro. Yeah. Because it takes a confidence. Yeah, it takes a confidence where, like, like look at, uh, okay, maybe maybe this is kind of up for debate, but mm. Kanye with the uh, stunner shades. Okay, was that, what was that? I was that style or, or drip or, like, swag? At the moment, swag, I think it was drippy. Drippy? Because yeah. I definitely tried that. Yeah. I, I feel like, hey. But it takes a person to do it. Like yeah. the yeah, drip yeah, doesn't yeah. make you right. You gotta be. You gotta. Yeah. I feel like Behind. when you're talking about drip, I feel like drip is something that makes you like stand out, like substantially. Okay. You know, mm. like with the shutter shades, bro. Yeah. Like what you seeing through it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like, oh, that shit looks dumb, but like. Yeah. You know, like that's kind of drippy because like ain't no one else. I feel like I feel like. What I'm getting is like style is almost like. Your clothing makes you mm. like styling, mm. but then I think with drip, it's like you make your clothing, you know, mm. drippy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when when ASAP started doing the the babushka, bro. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like right? that's. Yeah. Yeah, what like, do you think that is? There's not, there's not a lot of people that have been doing well, I think that. It's pretty drippy, bro. Like when he was doing, or like when fucking Tyler Creator with his like his full loud ass suits with his blonde hair. Mm. That's true, you know. That's true. Or something like that. Yeah, that's true though. Feel it, feel it. I think for me, uh, 
it goes back to just like being confident in what you're wearing yeah because cool. people will know if you're not feeling what you're wearing you really? can kind of guess like this guy looks hella uncomfortable right yeah now. but like if you if you're just like taking it in as a whole and you're just like yeah this is what i'm wearing and i'm messing with, i'm messing with what i'm wearing yeah. it's kind of hard to be like yo your stuff is whack yeah you're just kind of like okay cool yeah it's not for me but it's cool on yeah. you because that's how you, that's what you like yeah and i think that especially like I mean, I tried, I tried the whole, um, like a double snapback phase, like with the belt loop and the hat yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and the like, Crooks Varsity jacket. That was not me, but like, I tried to make it feel like it was me. And then <clears throat> people, I'm sure that people didn't like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Like, I didn't yeah, like it either, yeah. but I tried it and it was like, ah, it's not for me. So let me switch it up. Mm. Cause at first, I had, I don't know about you, I had a lot of like phases mm. in terms of like what I wanted to wear. Even now, like, I'm like, is this what I like to wear? Yeah. Is this what I'm comfortable in? Yeah. Because right now I want to be able to like dress or style yeah. in a certain way that like I'm comfortable and I can present myself in all different kinds of occasions. Because yeah. yeah. for me, style and drip are like two separate lanes. Style is just like... You can do both. You can do both. And yeah. drippy is just very trendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's cool for right now and what what's hyper and what's like sick right now is like that's drip. Yeah. Like... um. In terms of like fitteds right now, where fitteds are super hype. Like you see everyone posted with a fitted right. now. Fitted, bruh. Fitted, bruh. Yeah, fitted, fitted bruh. Right. Like, yeah, and we're all different. Our, yeah. yeah, all of our drip is different. Yeah, it's, they're all drip. Yeah, it's just different, yeah. you know. And like, that that's that's for me what drip is. It's like it's your interpretation of what's trendy right now. Yeah. And then style is just like what makes you you. Like if I if I think of an outfit for Maris right now, I would think like. I would think like trousers, J's, like Air, uh, like Jordan ones, like a vintage T, a fitted, and like a Sean John jacket. Yeah. yeah mm. If I'm thinking of Royce, I'm thinking I'm looking at you, so I don't look at him. Like, yeah. I'm thinking like gray trousers, white socks, loafers, heavy knit cardigan, tank top with a fitted, Real. or like with a fresh cut. Real. Pearl necklace. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, his yeah. style. Yeah. And his drip is like what type of outfit he's wearing like what i feel i feel like when you style it i feel like you're able to put your personality it's like the only way for your personality to speak for itself without you saying it i'm saying yeah you know really? it is that's yeah. that's the difference yeah between at least the, <clears throat> yeah i'm glad i didn't get to i didn't have like have to go through all those phases to like figure out how i want to dress the money the you know what i spent like i i I think I've always had a thing for shoes. Uh, the hat thing I kind of just picked up. I feel like the hat thing might be a phase, mm. but because the like because I understand like the culture and I'm really I, I like I like understanding what I'm wearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I feel like the hats might stay for a little while. There you go. I mean, I mean you always gonna wear a hat. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I got the long hair, so I used it to. works. So yeah, always gonna wear a hat. Yeah, yeah, gonna make the hat nice. You know? The hat's always like a best like go to if like your your cut is getting a little grown and you're waiting in between, or if you have a fresh cut. Like I don't yeah. know about you guys, yeah, yeah. but with a fresh cut and a, with a hat on, you can see mm. the like tidy side. Oh my goodness if it fits well yeah oh my goodness and that bitch don't go nowhere because no you're, you're, you're short hair acts like velcro bro that's yeah. what i'm saying <clears throat> so let, let me ask you guys this then like why you guys why do you guys wear uh fit is in like what's it what's your guys' story behind like um like how you started wearing fitteds or like why you represent certain teams mm. or like you know what i mean different colors even mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. different color uh under advisors, but what's your guys' thing on that? I go for that. <coughs> really, bro? I don't really give a fuck, bro. To be honest, fuck. like I, I just wear, I just cause I like I always wear hats. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like I, I, I have like hella trucker hats. I have a couple yeah. snap hats. Yeah. A couple fitteds, a couple of velcro hats. Like yeah. everyone's gotta have a hat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then when I started seeing hats with like the the little side piece, you know, and yeah. then like side I'm piece. like, damn, it adds a little different dynamic to like what your hat is, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like makes you different from the next guy. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like oh, like you could be wearing like a regular like new NY hat, but then I got like an NY hat with the World Series patch. You know? Yeah, it's a little it's a little different thing, you know. Makes sense. So so like, uh, let me ask you this: like, What do you do if like 
I pull up on you. I'm like, yo, mm. yo, San Francisco, you 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 been there? Yeah. Like, oh, you like you like that team, bro? You watch football? I'm like nah. No. Yeah. Like, what, do you, what do you say to that? Though? I'm like, like nah. I don't. I just fuck with the way it looks. Okay. I say yeah, the same thing. I say the same thing. Like, yeah. it, it pull up with me, bro. Yeah. I don't know shit. Actually, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when which is dudes, dudes wear basketball jerseys. They don't watch basketball. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. that's like. Yeah, okay, I guess it's in the same realm. But yeah. I mean, if you're rocking a certain player, you gotta at least know the player, you know? Yeah, but bro. if I'm rocking the team, I don't know, jack shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, though, that's true. I actually had a um, an encounter at, at my old job where I was wearing, like, a San Diego uh, hat, and someone was like, yo, you, you mess with the Padres. I'm like, I straight up told him, like, bro, I have no idea of who's <laughs> How many games they won? I would be straight up with you. I just mess with the colorway. I like how it looks on my head. It yeah, matches yeah, my yeah, outfit. Yeah, yeah. So you can rail on me all yeah. you want. Yeah. But I just like how it look on me. And he couldn't say anything because I was honest with him. He's like, all right. But at the same time, he was. I could tell he's like, oh, why? Why would you wear it if you don't know? Really? But like, I can understand. But yeah, I just yeah, like how it looks. It's yeah, like, yeah. why do you wear? Why do people wear like crosses? Are you religious? Yeah, yeah. Or are you yeah. just like how the cross look on you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, why you wear Jordans? Like, what nah, game I bet did you, you wear? Never watch one game of basketball yeah. with Jordan. Yeah. One full game where Jordan. I'm pre- I'm sure, and I'm damn near sure <laughs> that there's hella people out there wearing J's and they don't watch ball, bro. Real. I know. I'll bet my life. <laughs> okay. Like dunks. Like dunks. 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 You know dunks. history. Bro, and they don't skate. None. No yep. dunks. If y'all think it's a fucking basketball shoe, it's not. <laughs> it's not, bro. I was I was wearing dunks when I used to be skating like back in the day when That's like true, dunks yeah. weren't like the shits. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then people people will be pulling up like, yo, damn, like you wearing dunks yeah. and you fucking and you walking in the rain or like yeah. you trashing you dancing them. <clears throat> I mean, bro, these are supposed to be meant for much worse, bro. Yeah. yeah very true. Much more worse. You know, and I, I feel I feel that with like, cause I know the skate community is like kind of like getting choked about like dunks being mainstream because like that's a skate shoe, you yeah. know, like that's like the niche. Yeah. Of the way SB dunk, yeah. SB skateboard, bro. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Bro, that's that's facts. Yeah. People don't know really know the history, and like if you were to fact check them, it's like, oh, I just messed up with. How it looks on me, I'm like, you gotta respect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. if I'm wearing a hat, yeah. I don't know about it. I just like it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, yeah. sh- I'm not gonna shit on you for for wearing certain things. Yeah, you know? like, sure like you know, like homies, like remember when Vanties were the thing, you know, yeah. like the vintage Vanties, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And I remember like my whole my old DM, he'd be like, I remember one of my coworkers was wearing like a Nirvana like mm-hmm. vintage tee, right? Yeah. Like, oh, name one song, bro. I'm like, bro, why you gotta put it on the spot like that? Right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not like that. It, look, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's just a look. But, yeah. but and that's what it, that's what comes with like different cultures of clothing is that when people are like into it, like <clears throat> there's a whole culture around like fitteds. Yeah. You know, like the way you curve your brim, what mm-hmm. colors you wear, yeah. you know, what teams you rock. Mm-hmm. What patches on the side? Yeah, yeah. Where pins or not? Yeah, you know. Yeah, and obviously they're gonna ask you. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like the old heads, they're obviously gonna test you. You know, yeah, you're rocking 100%. this stuff. You know, yeah. so why not? You know the history of something. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I feel bad sometimes. Like I feel like I'm like barging into like a a, a new culture and like not respecting it sometimes. Mm-hmm. But for me, the reason why I wear fit is this one is an exception because you know I just. Mess with the A, yeah, the little angel. <laughs> I mess with the logo. With I like the color. Yeah. Come on, I like the color. Come on, it's so ex- exception. Drip. But um, when it comes to like um, New York hats, like the reason why, at least for me, why I wear a New York hat is because I'm like heavily inspired by like hip hop. Mm-hmm. That's and, true. Like, Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z, Biggie, all that. Yes. And. Um, Ooh, all good, all good, all good. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I need to sneeze. Oh, oh, mm. Cucumbers. But then, like, <laughs> but then, like, Spike Lee actually was the pioneer yeah. of this, the the fitted shit, the colored fitted shit. Mm-hmm. He was a pioneer of that, and the story behind it was like, um, I think one time he was like, "Yo, can I get the New York hat 
but in red. Yeah, he get he gets it custom made. Right? Yeah, he gets he used to get it custom made. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he had a one on one red New York hat, mm. and people are like, "Yo, what? Like this guy got a red one." Yeah. So now, like, people are like, "Yo, can I have a green one, an orange one, mm -hmm. blue one?" You know what I mean? And it turned it into a thing of like different color. Like, who would have thought? Yeah. yeah. Why would you put like a uh, different teams in red? Uh, different teams different color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. would you put like blue on like a Chicago hat? Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like what? Like that's like unheard of, right? So yeah. like he started that whole thing, and then it became like every other team was just having different colors of their yeah. shit, right? So that was what popped off the different color fitteds, mm. right? And the reason why um, the hat culture got so big over mm -hmm. quarantine, like 2019-ish, like, yeah, 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 that time is because one dude, I think one of the uh, the hat club dudes, yep. um, he had a friend, his mom was like, you know, had breast cancer or something, mm -hmm. and he wanted to rep, so he made the pink UV. Mm. Yeah, that's why they came out with the pink UV. Yes, and then they started incorporating the, the breast cancer patch. Yeah, and, those... and they started making different color UVs. That's fine. So then that's what popped off because people were like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you, know, you, you get in on this, yeah. right? And like, I don't know, there's just different, there's so many different meanings. Like, I have a socks hat, and the reason why I wear the socks hat is because, like, um, like NWA, yep. Easy E. Ice Cube, you know, they was rocking the socks hat because it was a neutral colorway, black and white, right? Mm -hmm. And they live down in Cali, right? Mm -hmm. Like Long Beach or whatever, right? Uh -huh. And, you know, gang violence, yeah. red and blue, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they didn't want to pick a side. They wanted to stay neutral. Mm -hmm. So how they did that was they wore they socks, socks hat. Black and white. Yeah. So they want to keep the peace. Mm -hmm. That's why I wear the socks hat. You know what I'm saying? Fine. The reason why people wear the Oakland A's hat or like, you know what I mean? Like just random people mm -hmm. for my, like for me, I would wear the Oakland A's hat because it represents like underdogs mm. because Oakland A's was like a shit team. Yeah. And all of a sudden they came out of nowhere. They won the world series. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? They same was the underdog the yeah, the and match. they went on a winning streak. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like that's the thing. Like, People, people really think like, like oh, it's all about the sports, all about this, but like, yeah. there's yeah. different yeah. shit to yeah. this, you yeah. know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's it. But yeah like, my inspiration, like, I mean, like you yeah. know what team this is, bro? Uh, San Francisco, San Francisco Giants. Giants. There you go. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was with Reggie to pick that up too. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Sweet. It's crazy. But it looks sick. Got like gold hits in the red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gold stitching real higher though. Yeah, look at it. Uh, yeah, even sparkles too sometimes. Right? Yeah, but yeah, you right here. Let's see. Yeah, it's 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 and for me, like when I wear fitteds, like honestly, like I I just thought. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Royce again. Um, I thought it's just like another accessory. See, mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking like you and, and, and in terms of like the meaning and stuff, right? Well, hopefully you guys do give a little thought. Yeah, but um, I just I just thought it was an extra accessory, and at the time, I'm sure you, know, you guys know it, whoever's watching noticed I don't have long hair anymore. When I was growing my hair, like my hair would be in awkward positions. Uh, or uh, growth phase, growing phases, so uh, that was the way that I could kind of hide it and like just be able to still work on my like my drip and my style with having like um, like a hat on. And I was already I already grew out of my snapback face, so yeah. I need something new in terms yeah. of hats. And yeah. um, and then with the side patch uh, thing, like like Bryce was saying, it just kind of differentiates my hat compared to yours because no one wants to copy and paste. Real. An outfit, right? Yeah, so, everybody has a New York hat. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't have I, the same patch. I have like two of those. Yeah. I have maybe like three or four now. But like, um, it just separates the next the next person with the other. And yeah. like, um, you just want to be different. Yeah. And that leads into my next question. Like, we we all know about like Louis Vuitton and Balenciaga, like mm -hmm. um, Bet Mom, or like, uh, what are other high brands? Mm -hmm. Like Common Projects. or. Yes, I find that, especially now, um, people are just wearing like expensive clothing just yeah. to say I got expensive Ooh. clothing. Yeah. Okay, but the thing, because I'm I like CP, right? 
Yeah, no, of course. Right. I like CPs. Mm -hmm. But I like CPs because like I know they're expensive, but you don't know that they're expensive. You know, the the they subtle touch, like the, the subtle the drip. subtle touch on on the CPs, like the gold, the gold numbers, like gold the shoe yeah, number yeah. on the stamps, right, yeah. on the side of your shoe. Yeah. Like I'm not I'm not wearing CPs because like I want you to notice I'm wearing yeah, CPs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing CPs just because like I fuck with them. You look, mess with it, yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. But like that's what I learned like over over so many years is that like like. No matter how expensive your clothing is, it no like I'm pretty sure the next person that you tell is not gonna give a fuck that yeah. you, it's expensive. Yeah, no amount of like money is gonna make you stylish or, or, or cooler or, 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 or popular, you know. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. you can you can wear a helmet lang, like C P yeah. Margella, yeah. you can yeah. wear all yeah. these chrome Cohen's, hearts, whatever. You can wear chrome yeah. hearts, you can wear all these brands. Mm -hmm. But it's not gonna make your outfit look better. That's what bro. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's that whole copy and paste thing. Like yeah, you see yeah. a, a Travis Scott or like an NBA player pull up in like Helmet Lang or like uh, AUI or like something like sporting for sporting rich because everything right now because of quarantine like loungewear like athleisure yeah. is huge. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. It's because you're wearing sporting rich, you feel as if like. I'm in a different level than yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. Aritzia album or okay, your sweatsuit yeah. from Blue Notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think building off of Royce, I think it it doesn't matter. Like you can invest in those pieces. Yeah, hundred percent. But you have to understand that like not everyone's gonna know what you're wearing, yeah. and you're not wearing it to impress another yeah. person. You just it's just for you. Yeah. And I hate yeah. I hate the guy that goes like, yo, you know what this is. I don't you know what some people. I don't you know, know some people. Know. Oh, dude, I honestly do not I, I don't, care. I, don't. I do not care. Yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. You're cool, bro. I don't care what it is. You just <laughs> down with that? You just down with that? Stone Island, bro. Okay, I have Stone, Stone Island. Island. I have a lot of Stone Island. So, I fell to the trend. But here's the thing, I can. I don't mind wearing Stone Island, but sometimes like. I'll take off the patch mm -hmm. because I don't need everyone to know that it's Stone Island. Like, mm -hmm. if you know that it's Stone Island, it's Stone Island. Mm -hmm. But I know some people or like kids who who come into the store. Mm -hmm. You know damn well they cannot afford Stone Island. They'll be they back get, the next get week their money to return back. it because they find out how much it is. Yeah, and you're just like, why are you wearing Stone Island? Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't For don't go out of your out of your budget, man. Like, so yeah. I remember you I don't need to spend all yeah. the money to be like stylish. Exactly. I remember back in the day, like I would be spending money, and I wouldn't be eating food. Yep. <laughs> to buy clothes, you know what I'm saying? I was eating food. That's like, what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, I was like trying to get this piece that was like three to four hundred dollars yeah. that I couldn't afford back then. Yeah. And I'll buy it. I'm wearing it every day, mm -hmm. and I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But like, just like, don't don't go out of your way to impress people with all these brand names really because cool. at the end it's of the day, cool. it's like materialistic. It's, right. it's a tangible yeah. piece that can that is not worth your money. You know yeah, what I'm dude. saying? I, I I be seeing like all these high school kids with like all these nice ass like J's, J's, nice car, and yeah, I'm like, bro, bro, like I didn't even I loved Jordans. Yeah, I grew up on this shit. My dad, yeah. my parents grew up on that mm -hmm. shit, right? I was always around it. I got like my first pair. I think it was fire red fives. Mm. Yeah, something like Hard. That. And I remember I used to always rock the Carmelo Jordans. Mm. I the remember those. Team Jordans. Bro, like, I, I, had, I, had a, I had a pair of Melo ones, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. black and yeah. gold yeah. ones, bro. Those yeah. are crazy. I cool, remember right? those. Yeah, I was rocking the up. what the the AI the answer. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, I was on that shit. Yeah. But just because I had it, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, like yeah. presents or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never. I wasn't spending my my own money on that shit till right. after high school till exactly. I could afford it. Exactly. And it's just crazy to me that like kids spend like Thousands. their parents' money. Thousands. Buying shoes yeah. that just look good, Thousands. they don't know nothing about. They Thousands. don't, you know, they don't know these people. You know, they they even watch the game. Yeah. They yeah. a fan of the game. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> nah, it's crazy. Yeah. Just don't don't go out of your way to spend money like <laughs> that, see. man. It's really not worth it. I've it been is. through it. I've yeah, spent too. thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars. Yeah. On on clothing, bro. Like. Yeah. 
the only pieces that I'll ever invest that are brand name and like LV, Gucci are like gonna be items that I know I'll wear or like I'll have. Like I have an LV wallet, yeah. I have a Gucci belt, you know, things for like special occasions, stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna be, Longevity. I'm never gonna spend like $800 on a fucking Gucci t shirt. Mm -hmm. Hell no. You know, on, on like a Gucci hat. No, nothing. Know? You know, I'm no not gonna. Way. I, I, I'm, like, I, no. I've learned. I've learned from my many years of spending dumb amounts of money, like, like stupid. Yeah. You know, like being impulsive on on yeah. all these things yeah. to impress other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, you I can don't do, need to impress nobody. Yeah, no. You don't, bro. Like that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like if you wearing your fit confidently, bro. Right. Like you're you're styling already. You yeah. don't you don't need a thousand dollar piece to stand out. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I follow this guy. If y'all if y'all watch uh if y'all know on TikTok his name is Wisdom. Mm, yes Wisdom. He's now like a model and yeah. like an ambassador for, okay. for like luxury brands like Gucci, Balenciaga, like yeah. all these big ass brands. Yeah. Right? Product, if you were watching him very early when he very <laughs> first started his TikTok or his social media he was wearing thrifted fits. Like exactly. I remember he put together fits that were like $10. Yeah. Shoes, pants, shirt, jacket, $10. That's real. Right? Yeah. And it looks sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he put on like a, like he, he does this whole like series on his TikTok. It's like $10 fit versus $10,000 fit. Yeah, really, really. You know? But like the ten thousand dollar fit, you can tell it's a ten thousand dollar fit yes. because they're extravagant pieces. Oh my they're, gosh, yeah, yeah. they're extraordinary pieces. They're different, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a fucking five thousand dollar t shirt, yeah. five thousand dollar pant. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, like the difference is like it's, minuscule. It's so saying. It's marginal. It's yeah, it's yeah. not even that it's much. Yeah, you yeah. know, like if if the if the man's pulled up like today, I would not. I wouldn't no, even. Really I'm like, how much is your fit? And he tell you like twenty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I see you at the club wearing a dope ass fit, like expensive ass shit. I'm not gonna ask you where you got it from. Yeah, one hundred percent. Don't break a leg. Don't sell a kidney just to buy all these clothes, bro. Yeah. It's not gonna. If you can, somebody. if you can afford really it, buy all these. If you can afford it, buy all these. Yeah, percent. Yeah. And it, and it's if it's something, if luxury band, brands and big name brands like Balenciaga, all that <clears> stuff. <throat> if you fuck with it and you can afford it, go for it. Bro. Yeah. But I, I'm just saying, like. It's it's items that you don't need, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like yeah, you can surprise. crazy. I know. I know. Because like, artists like, like you know, they put it on and they're like, yo, I want to be like this. Yeah, artist. but the thing is, well, the artists are millionaires, bro. Yeah, people, yeah, and at the same time, people do not give a fuck. No. Like yo, Drake's wearing Stone Island. Cool. Who cares? Cool. That's it. Like that's, that's it. Any competition, bro? Exactly. Like you have all these big name rappers wearing all these expensive pieces, right? And then you look at people like ASAP, right? What, like, little to no logos on yep. his clothing. You don't know damn well where he got it. Yeah. She looks fire, though. <coughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Like, all these, like, when you look into, like, like formal suits, yep. there's not a lot of logos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks fucking sick. Yeah. I'm telling you, one suit jacket from H&M, 30 bucks, get a That's tailor for saying. 10. Yep. Yeah, bro. It can fit That's like a. Yeah. Can fit like the Taylor, Taylor, bro. Tom Ford. Bro. The Taylor, I, Taylor's my, your best friend. Yeah, yeah dead ass, bro. bro. My, High school graduation suit was from Walmart, mm. and I got it him. I'm telling you, and it fits like a gem. Mine was like from H&M. Mine was so from H&M too. But I didn't look too good though. So, and I looked just as good as the, <laughs> and I looked just as good as the guy who bought a Hugo Boss suit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, so yeah, like, it's, it's like it's, 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 so it's all it's about fitting at the end of the day. Though. Though. If it fits you and your proportions, it's fire. Yeah. I was telling Royce the other day. I was like, I think him and I were going to work out once. I was telling him like, dude, I can't buy brand new anymore. Mm. If I if I'm buying brand new, like it has to be like a discount because like really? I can't afford like yeah how much things are now. Like they're so expensive. Yeah, yeah. And plus the old is you buy one piece of Stone Island, bro. You can fucking shop at H and M. Can buy three outfits. Old Navy, unique glow, bro. Do it up, bro. You know what I mean. And I was saying like, you know, these older clothes or when you thrift and you're able to put it together like they look like we're saying it looks just as good as a like a designer outfit really it just depends on how it fits on you if you're picky yeah. about how it fits on walmart you. bro stop saying like if you go i have hella pants from walmart me too bro they, you, don't hop on that shit because i can't find my size no more but <laughs> <laughs> 
But like, yeah. I got hella fat. Keep it a little bit, bro. <laughs> you gotta speaker, guys. Stop it, bro. I can't find my size. But my pants, like hella of my pants, are from Walmart. Yeah, because the fit, the fitment it, of them good, are good. Fire. You know, they got Nikes now. No, I'm yeah. Wranglers. The yeah. durability, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you, I can knee slide down a concrete. Hill, mm. and this shit won't tear. So yeah, 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 vintage tees too. Like, yeah. like, oh, don't insane. sleep, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't sleep. I got money to afford anything I want, right? Yeah. But I'm not gonna spend $120 on a pair of denim ever again yeah. after going to Walmart and picking it up for yeah. 20 bucks. You know? That's all good. So, what, if I were to kind of bring almost all of this to a close? Yeah. Clothes? <laughs> Clothes. <laughs> it's a two-part, two-part question. Okay. Yeah. What was the worst outfit you wore? And the second part is if you were to wear one outfit for the rest of your life, what would it be? Jeez, bro. Honestly, bro. Where the what with the outfit for the rest of my life, bro? I'm wearing like I'm wearing like my nice like cargo pants. Yeah. And like. A fucking tank top beater, bro. Yeah. And maybe a flannel over top. That's that's. Classic, man. I'm chilling. I'm big chilling. Oh I can go out to. I can go out to like, fucking dinner. I yeah. can go take class. Yeah. I can do. You know, I I'm doing it. I sleep in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Might as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Might as well. But like a worst fit I Yeah. What was the one? That's what hard. you put on? You're like, hard. I'm not really bro. feeling this. A tough one. You know damn well which one, bro. Which one is it? I don't know, but I know damn well you do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And you like that, eh? We would like that. Honestly, yeah. All of them fire. Cause like I, for me, I was like I, I wasn't wearing. I wasn't purposefully wearing shit yeah. until after high school, and by then I knew what I wanted. Yeah. So you know what I mean. I just like that, man. But I'm sure I did dress like trash before. You know what I mean? Honestly, I had some bad outfits in high school. Yo, you know the one I don't like? I can nail the top of my head? Yeah. Goodwood. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did. <laughs> for you, for you, for you. It's for you. Goodwood. Thick glasses. Yeah. Uh, it's for marriage, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. I pitched a marriage in high school, bro. Mm. This is the fucking. Adidas Probably. soccer pants. Yes, sir. With a, with a white socks and a Nike slides. Yes, sir. <laughs> you already got two. You got two brands clashing. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he always had he had this uh this windbreaker. <clears throat> oh. And had a white detailing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Nike one. It's, it's a Nike one. <laughs> it's a Nike one. So Mad Dem's going. Nike, Nike Adidas, Nike. Adidas, Nike. <laughs> with a Nike backpack. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nike <laughs> Adidas Oreo. <laughs> Hey, I was a baller back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I was, I was in my grind. Go to the gym before school. Go to the gym in the at lunchtime. Go to the gym after school, bro. Ball in between, bro. That's you know what I mean? Like, I was, dance yeah, dance practice. Yeah, dance practice. You know what I mean? Like, I was just comfortable. Sheesh. Yeah. For me, dude. <laughs> That's right. definitely one of the worst fits, though. Dude, so, I remember. It's comfy, comfy. I was comfy though. Comfy, dude, I wore black joggers with um, Puma shoes and i wore a bench hoodie underneath a gray formal cardigan jesus bro and i had what dingy glasses jeez that's not it <laughs> my god i'm trying to think about it yeah that's crazy if i if i never if I had the photo i'll send it to you you can put it on the screen that's crazy mm. who cares that that's fucking me now <laughs> but if i were to live with one album for the rest of my life honestly I'm gonna have to go gray trousers, white socks loafers, maybe um, plain white tee, and a vintage bomber. Mm. Yeah. And I'm chilling. Yeah. Fuck with it. Fuck with it. Fuck with it. That's it. My worst fit ever, bro. Mm. Good boy. Let me dig, dig deep down, bro. All right, <laughs> so, gotta be, so true, bro. Bro. be quiet, bro. Let me think. All right, bet. Hurry so, it up, bro. All right, so I had these. Plaid slip-on shoes from Walmart. <clears throat> Boat shoes? Nah, they're slip-on like vans. Yeah, they're right. slip-on like vans, but they're from Walmart. Okay. Airwalks? No, they're from Walmart. <laughs> you know what the airwalks are? Black, <laughs> black distressed denim <clears throat> with ankle socks. Respect. I had that a sucks. I had a flannel with a denim vest, <clears throat> a blue a blue beanie, bright blue, royal blue, and I had 
Take out his glasses. You got my picture though. You got a picture now? I think we put a good one. You got a picture? I got a picture now. Okay, put it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to choose one fit for the rest of my life, bro. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. I'd probably be rocking like a hoodie, bro. Mm. Probably, probably yeah. probably just a gray hoodie. I'm like, so, honestly, yeah, gray hoodie, so any cool hat, stuff. any hat, any beanie, I'll go fuck with like some trousers, probably some boots. Yeah. Yeah. Check it. But yeah, just like that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Show. What is, bro? Yeah. But yeah, yo. Look at look how like simple we broke it down. Like, For real. we don't we didn't name no name brands. Yeah. We didn't name like don't need crazy that. anything. You don't need that. And we all mention like how it fits us. Yeah. What fits me don't fit Marys. Yeah. If it's Marys, don't fit Lord. Yeah. And so, you know, every, we talk about a lot of things today in terms of fashion. Mm-hmm. Shoes, hat, culture, trends, trends, mm-hmm. style, style, yeah. bridge Yeah. Yeah. You guys got anything for the youngins? In high school right now, trying to dress up for the next school don't day. Don't spend no. too much money. <laughs> nah, it's not mm-hmm. that. Don't spend your parents' money. All right. Yeah. Well, don't spend your parents' money. Don't I know they the love boss. you, right. but they don't love you enough to spend a grand bro. on four pieces. Bro. Work or for even money. one piece, bro. Jeez. That's, what, that's what I'm earning. saying, bro. Yeah, you know what? Stay sustainable. That's what I'm trying to do now. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's and right. Just yeah, if you fuck with all it, love. rock it, you know? Yeah, all love. If you're not skinny, you go to the Air Forces yeah. and you bagging your pants down to the ground. Mm-hmm. 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 Wear with confidence. At the end of the day, wear your stuff with confidence. Don't overspend. Stay in your budget. Stay in your financial lane. Yes, sir. You don't need to dress like the next guy. Dress yeah, like you. You don't need to. Right. You don't need to spend like the next tax bracket. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real. For real. Can't, you don't got it like that. You can get it next time. All right. Sure. Work towards that. Yes, sir. So this is us, chopping it up podcast. It's your boy Rigel. It's your boy Marius Royce. Thanks for chopping it up with us. See you in the next episode. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. Ah, right, yo, what's the moves? You know what the moves is? You're talking yeah. about all this clothes. No, listen, listen, listen. I got it, though. What up? Since our girl, Joyce, was on the last episode, mm. I'm thinking, like, we should pull up to her class. Ooh. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock every Monday. Let's do it up. I'm Let's down. Let's I'm, I'm down. Bet. That's the move. So, you backseat on my mind, I'm still so solo. My life hard to define, so I ride solo. Waiting still my game